scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Tranny and C. I'm Tranny. This is C. Look at this guy. What do we got? We. I'm sorry. What do you tell We're us? Everything we know. Trying to remember which side the C is. Um, what is this side? Yeah, you're probably right. All right. Um, we have Bowmore Vault Edition, the first release of the Vault Edition. We Bowmore has since moved on to the second and beyond version of uh, the yeah. Vault Edition, but we're working off the first one, and it's at fifty one point five percent. That's cool. I'm excited about that. Look at this. I'll read about everything. Slightly lighter in color than say the fifteen and the eighteen. But go ahead, read up while I give it a little zoomy zoom. Okay, Vault Editions are hand selected to uncover the depth and range of flavor generated by such alchemy. Four notable layers characterize Bowmore. Uh, the whiskey's influence is part by the rare environment of the number one vaults. Each release in this four-part series showcases oh. a different layer. Atlantic sea salt, peat-smoked perfection, full-bodied fruitness, and silky sweetness. That sounds good. I like that. <laughs> is that for each one? or No, I don't know. They really didn't really kind of say. Anyway. All right. Cool. Um... Quite on set as we. This one says Atlantic sea salt is the theme. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, quite on set. So far, the Bowmore corks and excellently pressurized corks. And good neck pours. I'll give it a little. Pre glug. A little Ooh. wetening. Just in case. Just in case. She's been sitting around a while in the shell. Here we go. Ooh, oh, a little slippery could, pop. Could have been the, the wetening. Might have been the wetening. <laughs> the great one. now the pre glug excellent pre glug no I won't You're, maybe it's the it's user. the pour oh and you also seem to pour from the side angle <laughs> which maybe. side is it? it's well, a I bottle guess it's is around. there any other side I, I is there a side like, on a bottle yeah, I don't know <laughs> maybe it's just the height oh, you gotta dropping it from a height a great height a great height That's good. Oh, man. Yeah. Great that's, glug. That's a good glug. And then the color on but this one is excellent, too. the quite a bit lighter in color yes. than... Oh, I got some on my fingers, and it's like Ooh, freaking slippery. viscous. It's slippery. Slippery. Okay. Okay. A lighter color than the other Bowmores. Oh, that's a little... That's like a sweeter Ooh. version, too. It's sweeter, but there's something more effervescent or like... Like, look, look um... Ugly? Maybe it's just like hyper citrusy. This, I mean, one of the other ones talked about tropical notes, and I'm feeling I'm getting more tropical notes. Oh, okay, this yeah, there could maybe that's what it is. I like guess a little papaya ish or yes. something. Yes, no, you're right. But then it also has this like really subtle smokiness. Yeah, it's very right? like subtle. It's not I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, be pegging this one off on the nose right away as being a hyper peated whiskey. You know? little tart note too yeah for sure a little tart note but you're right it's like a papaya lemon oh man when i was a kid my mom used to like cut a papaya and yep. then squeeze lemon juice on it oh. and you would spoon it right spoon. out of the oh man that's a, this is that's where this is going wow yeah that's that's got a nice vibe to it and i mean 51.4 i think you said oh yeah like that like the, yeah 51.5 yeah it's like that's that's a good feature, but it's not like blowing my face off. But are we like, getting my a nose in. sea salt note? Because this is supposed to be the maybe on the flavor. Okay, let's drink it. Let's get let's it. I, I want to rough it up, rough it up a bit. Yeah, just smash get around those, those. Get those alcohol mo yeah. molecules banging bang. into each other. Okay, let's go. Yep. Yeah. There's the beat. I was gonna say there's the sea salt, and there's the sea salt. Yeah, wow. totally. It is a little bit briny. It's a, a lot briny, but you're right. It has the oh, it has the mineral peat, but on a, a an, on a lower kind of level than the 18 had. The 18 was like big mineral peat. This is like a little bit of that with mm. the salty briny. There's something that I cannot put my finger on right now. I've had that flavor before, and it's not quite like you're right. There is this. There is the peat. It's there, but the underlying flavors of the spirit is like actually 
quite quite delicious. Whatever's happening there, I can't figure it out. I think it's the maltiness as well too. Like it's like it's got like a malty vibe, but then the peat is quite big, but also they actually did nail it with the sea salt. Yeah, and another thing I'm wondering is like I feel like there's some older whiskeys in here too because it has like on the flavor a little bit of that. Yeah, because technically this is a taste. no age statement, right? But then usually when you get these like higher price no age statements and the, especially edition one, you're gonna be looking at like they're gonna mix some of that good stuff in there for sure. To, like, like I mean, technically get they have hooked. to tell you the youngest age if you put an age statement. So or they don't there could bother. be like a four or five yeah, so years not, in not there. So bother. why would they do that, right? When but I think I'm getting a lot Zingy, more zingy spite. Okay, what does it say? So you have the flavor, sun ripened fruits, okay, salted honeycomb, oh, zingy spiced cocoa, and iodine soaked blood orange, all bathed in Atlantic sea spray, awash with blackberry, no, no, sea salt, and kumquat. The latest, the lasting finish opens what is that out flavor? like the vast ocean itself. I, they're close. They're really close, though. Is it cocoa? There's a bit of the cocoa, but it also kind of has like that. Maybe it's just the grains, like it's the actual also, the barley no, sugar. No, a bit showing. of it's the iodine actually. Iodine soaked blood orange. That's on the nose okay. for sure. On the nose for sure. Is there no sherry on this one? That's maybe what I'm tasting. Oh. <laughs> you're tasting no sherry. Yeah, like it doesn't like. You're tasting you're... what you're not tasting. Well, like, I, I think a lot of the time, like, the Bowmores have that kind of sherry influence. Totally. And this, I'm getting more of, like, you're that, just th like, you're the like, You're like, green. what's missing? Like, something Yeah, missing. like, it has... There's no sherry-related content here. Mm, mm, mm. Mine's gone. Because you're, you're like doing that. so much research. I'm researching. A wash is like... What's a I kumquat wish... taste like? That ah, doesn't sound very good. You'd know. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't sound very good. Okay. Well, hey. Um, I don't know, but now you know. It's got a peppery spice at the end, too. Like, yes. the finish is quite uh, spicy and effervescent. It's got an effervescence to the whole thing. Good enough to drink. <laughs> really, a lot of the... Actually, I, I actually quite like this one. When you slam it like that, the blood orange comes out. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, click like. Subscribe. Leave us a comment what you think about the Vaults Edition 1. Um, don't forget to go to patreon.com slash C to give us your money and to also... <laughs> but to, for also, an exchange for great experiences. Yeah, and to enter in for us to give you some free whiskey. Yeah, we're giving away a bottle of Bowmore this month. Yeah. Uh, we tend to give away, God, at least like eight you, bottles or so a year of usually monthly and then we do the big december kind yeah, of yeah we give the blow christmas up. giveaway yeah. um and then we have you know as you guys know tons of guests on the show yeah um Random. just just join it's fun just, it's going to a good cause a thing the trendy and see fun for expensive <laughs> the bottles. human fun yeah <laughs> okay cheers yeah. cheers our glasses are empty all right